Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tax Super channel. Today in this video, we will look at how to get logged in credential in Visual Builder, which is very, very common requirement in each and every web application. So before I start, I will request you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification in your notification list as soon as I publish a new video. So before I start, I will also let you know that I have few online courses on Udemy, which will help you to learn Oracle Integration Cloud uh, step by step. I have one course uh, related to the Oracle Integration Cloud, which is accessible on this uh, link. Another course is Oracle Process Cloud Service. Again, you can access the uh, this course on this particular link, which is mentioned just below the name of the course. And I have two more courses. One is API PCS, which will help you to learn uh, the API PCS end to end with a lot of real time examples, and another is the VBCS. Okay, get logged in user credential. Visual Builder allows seeded object to get user credentials like full name. If you have a requirement to get the logged in full name in a VBCS and short somewhere, then Visual Builder allows us to get the full name with the help of the seeded object and then email address. If you wanted to get the email address and basis on that email address, you wanted to fetch other details from other business object or another API. You can use that particular object to fetch the logged in email address. You can get the username and you can get the roles as well. So let's have a look. Let's log in into the visual builder cloud service and see how to get all these details in the VBCS page. For this, I will log in into the VBCS application and I will use this visualization application and I already have one application and will create a new page here. I will say credentials and then click on a create button. So on this page, let the page to be loaded. Here, I'll just put a heading section. I'll say log in credentials okay here I'll just put some input text the input text and one more input text okay so for this I will say the full name and I will make this as a read only then for another input text, I will make email address and then another for uh, username. Okay, let's make both of them as a read only. Okay, now I will bind this full name, email address and the username with the seeded object which is there. So just click on this and go to the data and then open this expression. Click on this and go down. Here we have an application object which is the seeded object under this we have a system just expand it and under this we have a user object. So this user object will have the logged in user credentials like you can get the email address of the logged in user, full name, if this user is authenticated or not, you can get the permissions, roles, user ID and the username. Okay, so just bind this full name with the full name and email address to email address user and then email address. You can also see that it is it is showing the login credential and then again username like user and then username. Since username and the email address is same, hence it is showing the same. So this is how you can get the logged in credential. So let me just log in with different user and will show you. So before I do this, let me just publish this application and will make this app make this page as a default page. Go to the main and go to the setting section and make it credentials. Okay. Now just try to preview this application and will show you.
here you can see the user details has been fetched like the full name email address and then username let's just try to publish this application for this go to the all applications and then click here on this and then click on a stage and stage with the populate stage with development data and then click on a stage okay so click on this stage and then chart web app close let it be okay so here you can see the details has been fetched now let me just copy this url and let me just log out sign out okay or let me just simply close this window and then open again okay so let me just log in with different user here as a demo user So here you can see the credentials are totally different. The full name Ankur Jain, email address is this one, and then username is this demo user. So this is how you can get the login user credential in the VBCS in a few seconds. Guys, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and then Pinterest. Thanks guys bye bye